I have a very interesting case to discuss with you. This patient came to me for management of his high cholesterol and fatigue. He is already on Lipitor 20 milligrams, which is a pretty high dose for Lipitor. Um, and we decided to go with advanced uh, cholesterol testing, as we discussed multiple times. And you can see that despite suppression of his cholesterol, he has a very high levels of small LDL. And his overall LDL size is pretty small. So this is a pattern B, and it's a very dangerous pattern because it's associated with a high risk of strokes and heart attacks. And it's potentially it's one of the reasons why people who are on cholesterol pills still develop heart attacks and strokes because they're not controlled completely. But because of his fatigue, I also tested his hormones. And you can see that his testosterone is profoundly low. And for those people who think that zinc will fix everything, here's an example of his zinc that is already toxic, despite his very low testosterone. So in patients who have low testosterone, the jerk reaction is to just start giving testosterone. Well, in his case, he also had the undiagnosed sleep apnea. That is a contraindication for testosterone replacement. If you have very low testosterone, you will have very high chance of uh, strokes and heart attacks. If you have untreated uh, sleep apnea, you also have very high chance of strokes and heart attacks. You need to start treating them uh, in, a in a proper sequence. Again, if you have undiagnosed or uh, rather untreated sleep apnea, then the testosterone replacement is contraindicated because again, the, the chance of strokes in those patients are much, much higher. In this particular case, his cholesterol likely is a reaction to extremely low testosterone because your testosterone is produced from cholesterol. And his testosterone is very low because of his profoundly, uh, profound sleep apnea. So you have to, I'm showing you this case because I want to show you how difficult it is sometimes to unravel complicated cases. And you have to know the sequence of the events because if you'll do it out of sequence, you actually may hurt patients instead of helping them. Follow me for more, share with us who wants to have a testosterone replacement or have high cholesterol, and we'll be discussing more cases.